Hey, there's all the pop-ups. Okay. Nice. And we got a new divine inspiration. You were trying to make a yellow. Were you the one that won the last raffle, Skulldrock? Did it reconnect you and allow you to uh, make it? All right. So, do you want body pit? I'm not gonna get the body pit yet. I'm gonna get farming bundle. Farming station allows followers to water nearby crops. Put seeds here for your followers to sow. Oh, and a seed silo. Oh, okay. Let's get these. Ooh, we unlock the next row. Upgrade temple and shrine. All right, so we'll do that next. Oh, I don't have any money. We need a farmer station and seed silos. All right, we're gonna have to go get money. Get out of here, birds. We need a scarecrow so bad. And I have no food. People are gonna starve. They're gonna starve while we're away. Oh no, the hunger is okay. All right, we, get, we gotta get out of here. It's not a new day, right? No, we already preached today. Okay. I wonder if it's worth waiting till nightfall or just go. Probably just go. Here, godly blood was spilled. Here, did death no longer wish to wait? We don't have enough cultists to go here yet. It's two more. Soldier Soul says, would you say the game is more focused on the base aspect of the game or the dungeon aspect of the game? If you look at uh, our swamp chat, which is our general chat on Discord, I posted like a little bit, a uh, little blurb that uh, the devs sent, basically what their idea for this game was, but it's a mixture of both. It really, really is designed to combine elements of a roguelike where you do runs of randomized like dungeons with, you know, random builds and, uh, you know, you increase uh, the, the variety of things that get um, given to you during the runs with uh, unlocks and that kind of like fast-paced combat and they combine that with um, coming back and being able to you know build up a base and uh, a little bit of a town simulator you know so the gameplay loop is really go out to the dungeon you know collect the loot come back upgrade your your town a little bit and then go back out it's real interesting I don't think it's more focused on one or the other however all right, so what do we got this time? Crusader's Blade 4. Wow. Nice sword. And then what is this? Touch of Turua. Convoke a violent eruption of powerful tentacles. Sorry, that's our curse. So we got... Big powerful sword. Good, I need all that grass. But you, you saw while I was playing around in the town, I um, I got to a part where I really couldn't progress anymore just by hanging out in the town because I require gold. And when you require gold, you've got to go adventure. Oh, now we can collect bones too. Yeah. Um... Up or down? Let's go down. I chose down. Oh, nice. This is our passives that last for this run. Receive double the health when healing. When attack, 10% chance of negating damage. Double healing health? Maybe? At the very least, we haven't chosen it before. Yeah, I got a meat. 
I like how they talk. Gonna talk to me. I've gotten some bones. Yeah, okay, cool. Nice. They sound like the Genosians from the Clone Wars. You're right. And I love that tie. You got my reference right away. He chose down. You're gonna, you're gonna feel very welcome in this community. <laughs> Labyrinth quotes all day long. All right, let's try our new spell or our new curse. Oh, that's awesome. It's tentacular. Give me all the bones. Your mother's a hamster and your father smells of elderberries. Yes. It's true. Oh, you've met them. Hey, Marrow Master, what's up? Oh, look at this thing. Squirrel, no! Okay, so the squirrel, the little critters, they will leave if you don't kill them quickly, but they give you uh, food for your cultists, so. You gotta, you gotta nab those critters. Acquire the flower necklace. Follower will generate devotion faster. So you give that to one of the ones that are praying and you'll get more devotion. Nice. And I also got a new seed type, did I? Master Maverick? Let's see. Oh yeah, Camellia seed will one day bloom. A delicate flower used for its beauty and medicinal benefits. Nice. These guys are like on it for the cult contributions. Yeah, they are. It's a three minute cooldown for the whole community. As soon as it refreshes, you can't even click it fast enough. There, there's, um, obviously we, uh, I can collect more rewards the more you guys do it, but individually, no one has to worry about being able to contribute. You will still be able, to, in my opinion, the more fun thing is uh, being able to customize the followers and just by being a follower and watching you'll see when that happens when we're able to uh gather new followers um so we have a choice here we can go it looks like a fight i don't know what that is it's some sort of question mark i guess you gain health this is wood and then we'll be see i always want to go over after these to gain new followers I guess we'll go here. Wood. Oh, nice. Okay. This is real, real fast uh, way to get some lumber. We're up to 80. we go up all right new follower uh, 
The worm is hungry, it feeds, and partakes of our flesh, but that is the price for safety. For that, we gladly give all we have. Die, scum. Oh, I hate these bats. Yes. Ah. Give me those bones. I know, I'm getting to you. Hold on. I'll be right with you. I gotta mow the lawn. <laughs> we need every last resource we can get at the beginning of the game here. All right, rescue. There we go. Day seven, I need a new sermon. Yeah, when I get back. Yep. Okay, I could do fight or a fight. I'm gonna go for the fight. Steel devotion. Love that. And it grows back. That's a good spell. It's daytime. I love how the night and day cycle like makes the screen look so different. It's great. We have enough bones now. That was easy. Tarot card. Curses consume 25% less fervor. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, we're, we're, we're low on stone. Squirrel before he goes away. Squirrel! Bones and coins. Hey, we're getting more of those flowers too. All right, we can go down or left. I guess we'll go down. We chose down again. Nice, nice, nice. Who die? Step forward, beast, from the swirling mists of chaos that surrounds. Allow me to regard you wholly. Hmm, you carry the weight of ages centuries upon such diminutive so shoulders. Yet, what is this? It seems your stature is deceiving. A weapon is not without the hand that wields to fell enemies, to defend honor, to break chains. Let your crown take the form of one of these works of iron forged in everlasting fire. May you wield them well, promised liberator. Shoots multiple projectiles that seek out enemies. The hounds of fate. Flaming shot. Shoot a piercing bolt of fire. Hold and release at the mark to make it explosive. For apostate's cleaver five. So this is this would replace my curse. These two replace my curse. This replaces my weapon. I'm going to go with Hounds of Fate 5. I re I like that it seeks out. Right 
Oh, and you can recycle my old one. Oh, nice. Hey, they give me a gold coin. All right, better than nothing. Buy a nut got kula. Hello. Oh. To my eye. So it's true. The red crown sits upon the brow of another. But how? We did everything we could to. It matters not. We need not bother Shimura with this deal. Deal with it, brother. As you command, my sister. I like the seeking bolts. That's pretty cool. Somebody's shooting. Somebody's someone's an archer. This guy. Oh man, they are hitting me a lot. bones okay I need all the things bring back to my my village cobblestone flooring sturdy and nostalgic okay Two different kind of paths. I can't wait to see what kind of like villages or like cultist camps people come up with with the decorations and things. That's not my forte. I'm sure, there's gonna be some really cool designs. All right, here we go, boss. For the road to the boss. I will steal your devotion. different ways to go. Let's go down. Very bush seeds. Wow, we, we, we spent the whole day here. So we didn't get to do a sermon that day. So I could go back up, or I could check this room out. Let's check this room out. Oh, is this the boss? Oh, it's the boss. I could have gone the other ways. Barbatos.
Oh. Please don't hit me. It's not nice. a little hard to see the little red dots I'm supposed to collect for the, my curses. Choose 13 lumber, 20 gold nuggets, or berry. I think we want gold nuggets this time. I don't know what gold nuggets do. All right. Now, just out of curiosity, can you go back? You can. Ah. I don't know if this matters now. Damages everything on screen when hit. Oh, that's what a diseased heart does. Oh, okay. Increases chance to spawn better chests. Let me get that for now. I don't know if any of this is going to matter. I guess the downside of doing what I'm doing and backtracking is that's let more time away from the cultists while they're starving. Plus the chance of dying. And therefore losing like what 30% of my stuff so there's a risk reward aspect to continuing all right hey marauder you got one finally I find it fun, funny how uh, how hard people are competing to get that. Because <laughs> all it does is just spend some channel points, and <laughs> as long as somebody's doing it, it's, it helps out the game. <laughs> all right, should I return to the cult? You can't go here yet, right? It's locked. Good morning, Rylar. What's going on? How's the early streaming going? It's been going great. Yeah, we have a lot of folks watching. Met some new cool people. Uh, the devs were here earlier. And uh, this game's fantastic. It's really great. Yeah. All right. So there we go. There's all the stuff we're bringing back. Now we're going to get to go to our base building segment. Looks like one more run in the darkwood to unlock that door. It looks like it. Yeah. Do not mistake of becoming the servant of your followers. They are for you to use to your advantage. Their faith is a resource. Spend it as you would gold, for you can always regain their trust with a well-placed gesture of kindness. Let it empower you. Let it give you license to do unspeakable things. Bend them to your will. I grant you the power to read their feeble little minds. Follower command unlock. Interact with followers to read their thoughts as well as see how hungry, tired, or sick they are. Oh, nice. This is great. Declare new doctrine. There we go. Hey, old man Sethus is here. What's going on? How you doing? Uh, Obu. Obu's. Thanks for following. Welcome to the stream. 
Yeah, I've been picking up poop all morning. You're jealous? <laughs> Alright, you have a declared a doctrine which has granted you a new follower action. Okay. When interacting with followers, this action will be available to you. Alright, so we can now read our followers' minds. Nice. Alright, let's go back. Here's all the stuff that they got me. Um... They're all going to want to do stuff. Let's indoctrinate first. All right. Let's see if this works. Starting a raffle. If you're following, you should be able to see somewhere. It, this is not working on mobile currently. This Twitch extension. Hey, look, the participants are filling up. Yay. All right. Jerry, thanks for following. So, uh... Jump in here. If you uh, win this raffle, you get to customize this new cultist that we're going to indoctrinate into our cult. You'll get to choose what it looks like, and it'll be named after your Twitch name. Yeah, so jump in there quick. Okay, it's not work. It doesn't work on mobile yet. We're trying this out. Um, there should be a Twitch extension symbol somewhere on your screen. You've got a granted access, and then you can jump in. All right. All right. Let's see who wins. Strange Shay has won the raffle. Welcome to the cult. Follower creation in progress. All right. I can see the little, all the while, the little progress meter is working. Can't wait to see what Strange Shay picks. This is amazing. There we go. A little piggy. Ha 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 ha. Okay. So you have strong constitution. You heal 15% faster when sick and in bed rest. Okay. And you generate devotion 15% faster. So you are going to be worshiping. Uh, you're going to worship. And I have something else for you. I'm going to bequeath flower necklace to you because followers will generate devotion faster you get to decide what you look like yeah there's tons of options and you unlock more as you play yeah all right let's grab this first collect our totem reward this is from our twitch viewers spending their channel points what do we get we got some rocks i got a rock No, actually, rocks are good. We we didn't have any rocks. Rose Claire, glorious leader. The base is an eyesore. We need beauty to celebrate your glory. Let us build decorations in your honor. Accept quest. Build three decorations. I already built some, though. All right, let's get the food situation handled. Hearty meat broth. Basic berry bowl. There's some food. Oh my god. These birds. Your followers are no longer starving. Yay! I bet there's poop everywhere. They like pooping at the bottom of the screen, which I'm never looking at. Can you build a scarecrow? P possibly. I would imagine so. Oh, we got no one. Somebody else to indoctrinate? Oh, yeah. There we go. Go ahead, gang. Enter. I'm going to take a bite of my sandwich. I have been neglecting my breakfast.
I can't tell you how many years. Well, I can. Seven. I've been waiting for seven years for a Twitch integration of this caliber. I was telling the stream earlier, when we played the demo in June, we allowed chat to customize my cultist. But it, I had to run a raffle outside the game, pick a winner, and then they had to tell me through chat what they wanted as I cycled through the options. Now I can just sit here, take a bite of my sandwich, end the raffle, and lock it. Welcome to the character creator. You should be able to customize your character on the screen and choose what you look like. And then we'll all get to see what they choose. Looks like a purple kitty cat. Nice. Um, Coprophiliac gained 10 faith when falling ill. Minus five faith when a follower is sacrificed. Okay. Uh. Ah. Um. Go collect some stone. All right, we definitely have to do a sermon today. Let's call somebody in. Call everybody in here. Sermon time. Get in here. Do we have enough to do a ritual? Light the fires and let us dance deep into the night. Yes. <laughs> that is so good. A crosser of thresholds achievement. That was fantastic. All right. Um... And I don't have any more commandments. I can't buy any of these things. All right, we have no crown offerings. Gotta wait a day to do the sermon. All right, there's everybody going. Indoctrinating followers is well and good, but there is so much more you can take from them. Give them gifts, complete quests, and performing blessings for them will increase their loyalty to you. Once they are totally loyal to you, they will give you everything they owe. Watch as I show you, you follower. Come back in here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Who is this? Follower loyalty. Increase the follower's loyalty to level them up, and they will reward you with devotion and a commandment stone fragment. Ah, nice. Each time a follower levels up, they will generate additional devotion when at a sermon or worshiping at the shrine. So be sure to cultivate their loyalty. To increase their loyalty, you can give a follower a blessing once a day when you interact with them. You can also give them gifts, complete quests for them, perform sermons and other actions. The more followers you have become... Wait, the more loyal followers you have, the stronger you become. I have much to teach you, but I am old and grow weary. Visit me at my home, and I will show you how to harness the true power of the Red Crown. Oh, I gotta go vi visit him up there, eh? The Lonely Shack. Hey, Baffled Toast, what's going on? All right, sweet. I don't know how to get there. Okay, so I can teleport there. All right, so people are working. Read the thoughts. H34. Follower traits. Germaphobe. Lose minus five faith when a follower dies. All right, thoughts. Watch sermon. Inspiring sermon from our glorious leader. I feel great after a hearty meal. Bad chat. Boring. Must avoid them in the future. <laughs> 